Welcome back to another edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Bursich. With the 14th pick in the fourth round, the Minnesota Vikings select Kane Nuangu, running back out of Iowa State University. Now, I know what I was thinking was that our running back room is pretty good already. Nuangu with his first carry right up the gut. He's got a chance. Touchdown, Iowa State. The six foot, 212 pound Nuangu. His 40 time hovers somewhere in the four threes, and this guy is explosive in the kicking game. So let's take a look at the film and see where Nuangu may contribute to the Minnesota Vikings immediately in the 2021 season. All right, on this first play, you're going to see exactly what I was referring to earlier in the open was just the speed and the explosiveness. Now, he was a kick returner for Iowa State and had an unbelievable year doing so. This is one of his biggest returns. Now, what he does so well is he sets up the returns. You see him starting up the middle of the field and then breaking it to the wide side. And once he gets through those first two levels of blockers and he gets himself in the open, you'll notice right around the 40 yard line, number 47 has the angle on him. Well, at least he thought he did. He gets outside, turns the corner, and there's no one that's gonna catch him. That 4-3 speed is unbelievable once he gets himself in the open field. From the end zone, you're gonna see, once he gets to about the 20 yard line, you're gonna see the blockings are all, all up front. They've got their guys blocked up and he's almost one-on-one -on -one with the kicker. Breaks that thing back, and right again at the 40 yard line, there are three defenders that have an angle on them, but not one of them catches them. That's the speed and the burst that this kid has. And as a kickoff return guy, I think he can make an immediate impact. All right, another chance as on a kickoff return, taking it from the goal line. Again, setting it up. Trying, he's taking it to the near sideline this time. So he's trying to widen it out and slow down the contain guy from his left side who can't get there. The problem is, is there's not a whole lot of blocking going on in front of him. A couple misses up front and allows one of the defenders to come down and drag him down, but he takes it out to about the 35 yard line. But even guys that are unblocked have, a, have trouble bringing him down. Now on this return, this is an example of, of a great read by Nuangu. All right, so as he gets the kick, and he's also two yards deep in the end zone, he's taking it up the field toward the middle of the field, setting up all of his blocks. And if he would have had a, a few more up front, he would have broken this thing out. So he's getting to that second and third level, keeps the feet churning, 212 pounds, not exactly small. He can fight those guys off and get some extra yardage. Another example as a, as a strong runner, breaking it back outside. And number 32 gets that arm tackle out, but with his size, you're not gonna bring him down. And that's great. You need a guy that can run through some tackles. Cordero Patterson was that kind of a, of a wide receiver running back, had that size. And this kid also has that size and he also has that speed. All right, finally, in play number five, this is a, a perfect example of how you set up a kickoff return. As he comes up the field, takes it to the right, you'll see an unblocked defender right in front of him, cuts it back, Shoe duster tackle, misses him, he's in space. And again, just some, if he had a little bit better blocking up front, he would have been able to take that thing all the way. So a very explosive kickoff returner, has a great feel, knows how to set up his blocks. I'm very excited to see him returning kicks for the Vikings this year. As a running back, on this play, just a simple handoff, but once he breaks through that line, there's a safety untouched. You're not gonna get him. Shoe duster tackle, gets by him. Boom, explosive play all the way to the end zone. And you look at it from the end zone angle, it looks even better. Just a simple zone block up front, the same way the Vikings do it. They have a safety that's completely unblocked. You get him one-on-one, -on -one, burst to the outside. Once he has that straight line speed, man, you're not gonna catch him. All right, simple draw play. Nothing fancy here blocking wise. I like how he runs behind a fullback every once in a while, which the Minnesota Vikings use all the time. That same split type of action. You'll see the defender in the middle of the field. He bites and goes the wrong way. Doesn't even get blocked. He plants that foot and he's absolutely gone. Just extending away from the defenders on his way to the end zone. This is a great job of him setting up blocks. This is just a basic quarterback option. You get the motion across, quarterback holds it, they're kind of an RPO, but he hands it off. But watch him set up the block by the guard number 55, because he pauses just for a second. 55 walls him out on the outside, and boom, he's up to the second level. So another great job as a running back, set, just setting up things in front of him. We see that in the kicking game, the kick return game, and we're also seeing it with him at running back. 
play number nine, another example, off just a simple off tackle play, but the burst that he has. Once he plants that foot and gets through, this linebacker, <laughs> he's not going to touch him, gets up to the second level. So that burst, just get this guy in open space and he's going to make something happen. In the red zone, this is the same play that we've been seeing out of this kid, that same type of zone blocking, let everything set up. But once he plants his foot, the defender you'll see overreads the play, puts that foot down, and he is gone. So if you're a defender and you miss on this guy, say goodbye because he's going to take it to the house. Another example of Nwangu running behind a fullback, and he has that speed that once that block gets down, how many times do we see Dalvin Cook do this? 43 gets his block, jumps through, gets to that second level. So the running game in Iowa State is very, very similar to what the Vikings are going to see. Nwangu's used to running behind the fullback. It's going to be tough for him to get on the field, but as a kick returner, I think he can make an impact immediately.